Ah, hello my friends and family, how are you all doing? It's my pleasure to see you guys here today. As you can see, I just uh, did, a little, did a little mistake in the beginning there because we're still setting up stuff right now. We're still setting up uh, the plans for afterwards because I think there's going to be a second match. But for now, it's going to be the EVA tournament, folks. The EVA tournament is going to be uh, Yama and Dreamer against uh, the Inforce team, meaning... Uh, <laughs> So I have 10,000 tabs open, yeah. Uh, Renata and Mega in the Inforce team. So today, folks, expect to see some good action. I certainly hope we'll get some good action here today, folks. Now, there's been some uh, updates to the uh, scoreboard. As you can see, some people have left. Um, that is because a player has been accused of cheating. And uh, I've, for my part, I will not say my opinion, but... Uh, it's it's caused a little bit of the of a discourse in the tournament itself because some people agree and some people disagree, and some people chose to leave. My part, however, I hope that uh, no one leaves so that we can have a wonderful tournament here today, folks. Anyway, my name is Joffrey One 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 Nine Five. I hope you're all having a fantastic Sunday. If you haven't already, get something to drink or get something to eat. Because it's going to be one hour, possibly two, as I'm talking right now with Daph. I have to use Google Translate because, of course, he doesn't speak one word of uh, English. Yeah, I'll read this uh, later. But yeah, uh, Liama and uh, Dreamer versus the Inforce team, uh, Renata and Mega. It's going to be good. I hope we're going to get. I hope we're going to see uh, good strategies, good fights here today, folks. Now, in a few months, in a few moments, uh, Millwall is going to join me as well, and hopefully, we'll have some uh, insight from Millwall on what happened, or if he has something to say about the strategies, just like the uh, anti-Eva uh, tournament last time. So, I'm going to uh, quickly switch this back to the game. There you go. So, again, sorry for uh, you know the little bit of a delay and stuff. It's just that we are still planning. And uh, sometimes, you know, being live and stuff, uh, it doesn't really give you the best of uh, results. Do, 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 before the restart, uh, I don't know if... Uh... <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, Daf. Yeah, right now they're testing the commands, and soon it will hopefully start. Now, if Dreamer doesn't show up, uh, or probably maybe it's for IU, or maybe... Now, for as expected, uh, yeah, so yeah, we still need a uh, dreamer to show up, unless, unless he doesn't show up, then the match will unfortunately be cancelled here today, folks, but it's already happened once that uh, one guy didn't show up, or that the server crashed, so it resulted to a technical win, which we, which we had last time, and I hope that we do not uh, repeat the same stuff as last time. But yeah, get something to drink, get something to, eat, get something to eat for my part. I cannot do that because I'm on stream and I cannot eat and make weird noises on stream. That would be just inappropriate, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, I do wish them the best of luck to Liama and Dreamer. Because Liama, she... Well, yeah, it's a she. Yeah. She, um, she and Dreamer, I believe, they have not been uh, having the best of luck in this tournament so far. Uh, they've been against multiple matches. In fact, if I switch back the screens to the anti-tournament, uh, if it just wants to load uh, for one second on my screen, because for you for the screen, there you go, it showed up. Oh, yeah, they, now she was with no skill. She was with no skill. And she actually won one, but then she lost to Grosso and Square. So, yeah, they... Uh, they don't really have the best of strategies, but uh, hopefully today they will be able to counter them. Of course, that is for, that is for the anti-EVA tournament, which, which we've seen other times. Right now, we're going back to EVA. For, for those people who haven't been here today, folks, yet, for those people who are joining us just right now, welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a lovely Sunday. Get something to eat, get something to, eat, get something to drink, because it's going to be a two-hour long fun. Or maybe uh, it's going to be one hour for sure, but maybe two hours from what Daph told me. Because we may have another match right away after that. It looks like they're giving him some breathing time to join. Uh, there's always a time limit before, um, so people can join before the round is ended. So hopefully he will join. Last time uh, there wasn't a problem. So yeah, 7.45 minutes left to go on the clock. So yeah, how are you all doing folks? I see Old Smoke in the chat and I see Party Dragon. I'm still waiting on Millwall. 
I want to see where that uh, lovely British... Uh, I'm not going to say wanker because I'd be too offensive even though they all call each other that in fucking Britain. <laughs> but yeah, where is he? I need, I need you, man. You're my best buddy here today. I want to see your insight on what happened with Shiva. Because he was actually paired off with uh, Chiba, the guy who got accused of cheating, and unfortunately he was not able to continue. It was not his fault, but yeah, it's just it's just how it is. So yeah, while we wait, I'm gonna probably uh, switch it back to the intermission screen because we still have six minutes left to go. And meanwhile, I'm going to talk with Daph and figure out some more stuff out. So we'll see each other after a short little intermission, folks. Be right back. Here, folks, apparently there's going to be an anti-EVA tournament and also I see that Dreamer showed up. So welcome, everyone. Welcome, everyone, to the match. Welcome, everyone, to the stream. For those who are just tuning in on right now, I had to go a little bit to talk with Daph about the uh, match after that. So it looks like in around one hour, in 8 p.m. UTC plus two time, it's going to be an anti-EVA. So right away. So that means two hours of matches. Oh, boy. That's going to be fun. That was not uh, what I planned, but we will improvise. Uh, he has to go one minute, but yeah, he showed up, so that's good. That's very good to see, folks. So yeah, Liama, Info, uh, Info, the Info team, Renata and Mega, they have a they have a ping of 46, 48, and 38, and I think Dreamer had a, a ping of 88. So Dreamer may have a little bit of a ping disadvantage, but if he has the amazing accuracy that he's known to have, then we should not have a problem. And you know, I do wish the best of luck because the strategies are what's gonna, really going to matter. Not so much the aim, folks, but the actual strategies of where, what they're going to use. Because if they just go one by one and just, yeah, go one by one, then it's never going to work. We've seen that, um, I believe, Wednesday, Wednesday in the last anti-EVA match. They just went separate ways and it didn't work out for them at all. They got slaughtered each in their own way. So, then, so yeah, Dreamer joining back and hopefully soon it will start. We're going to have to all-tap back and talk again. So you see, folks, even though I had planned this for two hours, there's still some stuff at the very end. Like, for example, I've been trying to get the tickets to show up, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that today. So I think if I... Since they all switch teams, if I all... If I leave and I kill myself, probably I can see it, but I don't want to risk it. Also, my ping's also going haywire right now. <laughs> okay, they're ready, finally. Plus one minute. Requesting plus one minute. 
really wonder where Millwall's been. He's been, he's been saying that he would be there like 100% like immediately, but he's not been here so far. Oh yeah, he's ready. He's ready to lay down some vengeance for Renata. Oh uh, yeah, the round has started live. There you go. I just need to find my marks. And also, I do apologize if the uh, commentary on this uh, Sunday is a bit uh, worse than usual. It's just not a really good day for me. I don't think it is. But we're going to try nonetheless. All right, Dreamer having spawned in, is he going to be the squad leader or is Liama going to be the squad leader? I think Dreamer is going to be the squad leader. But there's some uh, level of fluctuations with ping right now. I think it's related to the server itself. So that may be a problem in, in the long run. But Liama still has to spawn in and there she is. All right. Feels good to see them running in. Now Dreamer being the squad leader, we have established that. Let's quickly go have a swoop over to the enemy team, meaning the Enforce uh, team. They are going flak around. That's very good. That's very good strategies. They do not expect that. One keeping them busy. Mega going around. He's seeking cover. He got Shana. Unfortunately, he's behind cover. He's gonna quickly try to kill him. Turn the nades to make him go out, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be the case. Nice action. And nice grenade. Wow. The Enforce team really not wasting any time here today, folks. They really want to get this down. They really want to absolutely destroy poor Liam and Dreamer, which are uh, concerns that they would not be able to uh, really have that much chance against these two amazing players. Damn. This is, this is exactly what I'm talking about here, folks. One guy came in and busy, one guy just shooting him from the flank. This is how you win the tournament. I get a feeling that these guys are going to get very far. Nades missing. Now keep in mind guys, they only have two the basic unlocks. Wow, that was unfortunate. They only have the two basic unlocks. That means the shotgun and the defib and they only have two nades each. So they cannot just run around and also have the, they also don't have the best of sprints. So they can't just run around and dodge everything. That's a problem. So it really takes some skill to land these shots in and not die immediately. Damn, Mega just charging with the shotgun to you today. Wow. They're gonna actually cap these guys out if they don't uh, immediately contest the flag. They're gonna cap these guys out. Man, that would be sad to see. That would be a very quick round if we see that. Running, trying to get a flank on Mega. Looks like he almost got the flank, but he just got a lot of light on a line of sight. Nades barely missing, I believe the thrown all the nades, mega charging in. With the Kryloff, now they're gonna secure the flag. They need to contest this right away if they don't want to lose this round right away. They'll be very sad if they lost this round right away. Come on, spawn back. Dreamer spawn back. Dreamer's gonna try to contest it. Liama still spawn Liama now spawned back. Gonna go with the shotgun and one shot him with the shotgun. Excellent accuracy there. Not wasting any time on shooting him down. The Emma's gonna try to go in. Throwing nades. Oh wow. It actually went through. And he cannot get revived because he's stuck, he's stuck inside the barrier. The Emma charging in and getting herself killed. Wow, that was unfortunate. 
I would have not just shot him like that. That was a uh, that was a quite bad move there, because Mega could just pop up and immediately shoot her down. Well, that makes one point for Mega and uh, Renata. The Enforce team, as I expected, uh, completely demolishing uh, fucking poor um, <laughs> poor Dreamer and Liama. Well, wow. oh man, that was fast. I believe that was only five minutes of the match. Holy crap! Well. In the next round, they're going to have to switch the sides around. So maybe, hopefully, they can do some better defense. We will see if they can do some better defense on the other side. But, yeah, I believe it's going to be tricky for uh, Dreamer and Liama to uh, pull this off today. I do want to see them resist. I do want to see them get a point, or at least two. Two will be a lot to ask, but, yeah. For those who don't know, of course, the rules, there is uh, two matches per map. And uh, there's four points in total to get. And if it and if it's equal, it's gonna be determined by the amount of tickets in the end. So there's never gonna be a draw. Dreamer was a, <laughs> went away two minutes again. I think he also suffers from a little bit of a poor accuracy due to the ping, because he has a hundred ping, and right now they just called a break for two minutes. Oh shit, I just noticed the screen was black. How long was that damn screen black for? And why did no one tell me anything? Oh my god, wow, this is really not my day, isn't it? Let's see, it was... Okay, it was only black for a short period of time, so it's okay. Actually, those, yeah, it's okay. Okay, it, it wasn't black for a long amount of time. Whew, thank god, man. I thought this screen was fucking black. Oh, that would have been really fucking bad. Wait, one minute left. <laughs> she will not help them. <laughs> wow, just cream go mango just threw a, just threw a girlfriend under the bus. <laughs> he just threw fucking Liama under the bus. <laughs> I was essentially just saying good luck to uh, Liama and Dima, and uh, cream go mango just said uh, she will not help them. <laughs> Wow, what a way to throw your girlfriend under the bus, dude. <laughs> wow, dude. Okay, back to the match, anyway. Ready, they said yes, the Dreamer is back with a ping of 58, so maybe I think he's corrected this ping. The right now it's climbing back up to 68. Of course, they're restarting the round, otherwise they would have an uneven advantage over the round. Round start live. There you go. Yeah, Dreamer, his ping is not really that stable. He's uh, going from 50 to 78. It may impact his performance a little bit. The server really doesn't seem that much stable today. Mega charging in, being the squad leader. Renata is going to spawn on him and we're going to see them charge both the first flag as soon as Renata spawns in. Let's get a quick check on the enemy team. Dreamer being the squad leader, of course. Liama choosing to go around the flank and hopefully maybe do a little distraction. If she can actually distract him, that'd be very great. It would allow a Dreamer to push from the side and hopefully uh, get them. Now, um, I wouldn't charge up like that. That is very ballsy, to say the least. Because that is exactly what would happen. You just get slaughtered by them. That was a very bad move. Oh, I feel bad for her. <laughs> Dreamer spotting them. Excellent spot. Though he has to wait on Liama to come back. We're going to quickly... Hang back to you because right now they have the upper hand and the, they have the upper hand and then charging in. Enemy that 
profile of marksmanship. Barely missing. Barely missing Dreamer. Dreamer's gonna try to shoot back, of course, getting distracted. He's not gonna see the Megas running around on the bottom. Now he's gonna actually climb on the top in a very bold move. Try to get them off, off the top and actually make him, <laughs> give him a headshot. Wow. Liam, unfortunately, is here to revive him straight away, but I'm gonna throw some nades. Watch out, guys, that is very dangerous. Mega got uh, too far up ahead and got uh, shot in the head by Dreamer. He's gonna get revived. Excellent. Nades have been thrown. He used both his nades. That's not, that's not gonna have any effect. Mega is gonna run off from the side. Suppress Yama, who's on top. Dreamer getting the, getting the hit on Mega. The shotgun missing two shots that was devastating because he was not able to kill him in time. And now he is out of ammo. He is totally and completely doomed. That was bad. He missed both his shotgun shots and he immediately ran out of ammo. Liam, uh, I don't know what you're gonna do. But you have to contest this flag. You cannot let this go down. You have to contest this flag, Liam. Oh yeah, they spotted him. Nades have been thrown, barely missing him. Yama poked his head up and got shot immediately by Renata. Wow, Mega actually losing to a duel with Dreamer. So again, Dreamer, even though he has a little bit of a, pro a pink problem, his accuracy is still amazing. Yama just running into Renata, poor, poor Yama. Mega, of course, killing Dreamer since now he was an outnumbered. They're gonna try to charge up to the last flag. If they have to make a good defense here, they have to, good, they have to use some good strategies here today, folks. They cannot let them get steamrolled again. They resisted, though they resisted far longer than they did before in the previous round. But they have to resist, they cannot give up. She just opened herself. She just went in the open. Oh. Nades have been thrown! Nades are very big! Oh my god, I thought that nade would actually kill him. That was a very good close nade by Dreamer. He, unfortunately though, he used both his nades. They're gonna go try to revive enough. Wow! Renata killing both of them with a single uh, coil of mag. Now they're gonna charge the, the, the last flag. They need to contest this flag. They need to shoot at them, get on the flag, contest it. Dreamer trying to put some suppression sh suppressive shots on there. It, I don't think it's going to be enough. Where is Dreamer? Uh, where is Liamma? She where, well, she tried to go from behind, but she didn't succeed. And he's gonna. And Dreamer's gonna almost get killed by amazing accuracy. He's gonna have to heal, go down, maybe pull the shotgun. And he was quicker pulling out the shotgun than Dreamer was, unfortunately. And that is another point for the Inforce team, meaning Mega and Renata. Easily, I mean, quite easily taking another point here today, folks. Man, I wanted to see Dreamer and Liamma win at least once or at least hold them back longer. But it doesn't look like it's going to be the case here today, folks. Man, what a shame, what a shame. I really wanted to see them do good. Next map is Fall of Berlin, so that's what we're going to travel to. Next, now, Fall of Berlin, there is an interesting uh, thing that there is four ways to approach the enemy flag, but so far in this competition, I believe we've only seen them use three of them. And I will show them in a minute what I can, but it would be great if they could actually use the fourth away and actually completely flank them. I think they'll be really give them a nice big advantage over the enemy team, because so far I don't think it's been ever attempted in this uh, competition. And yeah, I, if I was squad leader, I would say to my teammates, no, let's do this. Let's flank them. Flanking them is the best option. Uh, maybe keep one guy in the in the front to keep them busy because that is a tactic that seems to work the most. But yeah, that is what I would do. We'll just quickly wait for the map to load and then I'll show you guys in one second. Because you see, folks, there is three... Okay, there's a break for two minutes, so it gives me time to explain it very peacefully. So, there is four ways to get around to the EU flag, to the first EU flag, if you're pack. 
Now there is this way which uh, comp comprises of a, a slope which you cannot go up from on that side, but you can go up from on this side. But usually they will have one guy waiting here. They'll be ready to anticipate it. Of course, there's the second way that is on top here. That is uh, quite uh, quite visible. So it's not really the best way to approach. And then there's the third way here. And to counter that, you usually you usually usually have a guy waiting right here by the pick by the. the by the pickup truck, by the pickup truck that's on its side. But what we've never seen here today, folks, is them actually using this way. There's a fourth way that if you go around this side, and you keep them busy, and hopefully they don't spot you, you can just go around the flank, and from there you have some amazing shots if you're good with the accuracy. You really have a shot at killing them if you're from the flank. Now, of course, I hope it's not in the actual red zone because there is red zones. In the map to prevent uh, abuse and stuff like that and unfair stuff. So again, if it's on the uh, red, if it's on the red portion of the map, then I apologize if I'm wrong on the rules. But if I, if it's not illegal, then I don't see why no one has used that fourth way. I just don't, don't get it, folks. <laughs> Mega just destroying them both. <laughs> well, it's gonna pretty much set them back to their starting positions. Hopefully they can come up with some new strategies that we haven't seen today and in this tournament. I really do wish them the best of luck. Teams, are you ready? You guys need to actually tell them if you're ready, you know. <laughs> Okay, Mega said plus, so I guess that counts, I guess. Anyway, the round is live, folks, so let's see if they can actually hold the tide back. Uh, the Enforce team, if they can hold the tide of uh, Liama and Dreamer. I think they will be able to quite easily do that. I hope that they can at least make a breakthrough and capture one of the flags that I really wouldn't like to see that. And have fun. Good luck. Now let's see. Who is that? That is Renata. Renata is going to position himself to the side. And Mega, of course, behind the pickup truck, which I said earlier was a good position to cover all the ways from the flank. Mega is going to stay there. Renata is going to watch the slope. I'm going to quickly go back to Dreamer and Liama to see what they are doing. Dreamer is going to go down the uh, main way in the middle, the uh, the one that gives him a little bit of a height advantage. If he doesn't get spotted, that could be very good for him. Oh, I think they've been spotted. Dr grenades have been thrown. Grenades have been thrown. They need to whip out the shotgun. And that's exactly what Renata did. Unfortunately, wow, Mega gave him team kill of the nade. But it's okay since he can revive him, and he also, before reviving him, he quickly just uh, shotgunned Yama. Poor little Yama. Wow. I mean, that was good. They did not, I don't think they really expected that. They got spotted at the very last second. And then I think the new, the, I think, then I think the nades just threw them into chaos and confusion. So that was unfortunate. They're gonna actually try to slope, but I believe that is Renata. Renata is gonna be watching it. He's gonna be spotting them very easily. Nades have been thrown though, but they're all missed. Oh, wow, Liama just running out in the open, getting herself killed, forcing Dreamer to take risk by reviving her. And throwing the last nades they have left, but that's unfortunately gonna go very far off. They need to shoot back, they need to suppress them, because right now they're not shooting back. Dreamer almost getting killed, Liama taking a last grenade in the face. Dreamer is getting flanked by two sides, of course, now that the teammate is dead, and that is why you do not want to take risks by yourself, because you will penalize your teammate. You do not want that to happen, it will almost guarantee you a loss here today, folks.
Let's see what we're gonna try. Liama spawn back. Dreamer spawn back. Actually, is he gonna is he gonna do the way I told him to? Oh yes, finally, finally. I think they finally realized that there's a fourth way open. That could work very well for Dreamer. Now Liama, I think she got tasked with uh, keeping them busy on the slope. And if she can manage them, then they can make the mega team, uh, the enforce team, that uh, they're both over there. But that's not true because Dreamer is on the flank right now. Trying to come around, but unfortunately, wow, he got spotted. Oh my god, that was very unfortunate. Dreamer getting spotted by Mega right away. That leaves uh, pretty much just... <laughs> just Liama in a pickle here, alone. She is not in the best of positions. <laughs> now maybe she can still holding him off, because right now both of them are here. And she got killed, so I think he's gonna try to uh, revive her if he can get to her in time, because of course they do not want to lose any tickets. Because losing tickets is what gets you killed, and right now the tickets and the time are not in their favor because they only have three flags. Uh, they have three flags against them. They, that's why they need to take one ASAP, ASAP to uh, reduce the penalty. Those nades were very close to hurting them real good. Now if they can get some accurate shots going... There you go. Dreamer getting some accurate shots going. Now it's going to be a duel between Dreamer and Renata. Oh wow! Ah, <laughs> uh, the uh, I think I think the ping is like a little bit penalizing him when you compare it to uh, Renata. Oh wow, Renata's ping is jumping all over the place right now. Well, never mind. But I don't know. He just has a like he's just like missing some reflexes. He's shooting like a bit of a second too late, and that's what's getting him killed. He's not shooting too uh, fast enough. Dream are gonna throw a nade to land very close, but unfortunately it's gonna miss. Trying to spot him to get a good idea of where he is behind the container, behind the vehicle. Trying to spot him, but he's gonna get killed from behind. Wow. Liama need, needed to come back from behind, but she took too long, and now she's gonna get quickly shot by uh, Renata with a slip, with a swift blow of the Krylov. I'm trying to give them all my support, all my moral support, but you know it doesn't help against uh, the might of the Enforce team, just absolutely destroying them. If they do win this one, which is probably which is probable, then they're gonna be uh, then they're gonna be uh, three to zero. So I think the match is gonna be all the cards. So there's only uh, four points to get. Try from the side, excellent neighbor Liama, excellent Liama, good. Unfortunately, they got revived and they need to act quick. Dreamer got flanked around and Liama tried to res him, but got herself out of cover and easily killed. Wow, look at the scores. Dreamer and Liama both having a KD of uh, one kill both and uh, six deaths each. <laughs> Renata not even having died yet. I think he's going to run out of ammo at some point. I think he's literally going to run out of ammo at some point. Mega also six kills, man. That is the definition of a slaughter. These poor guys. Accurate Kyle of Fire brings down Dreamer in a swift blow. And a nade lands very close, but fortunately doesn't hit anybody. Dreamer trying, trying to throw nades back. Wow, actually very nice. A reflex there. Killing them both. Excellent, Dreamer. Dreamer, there you go. Charge in now. Now is your moment. Take the flag. You can do it. Just watch the watch the flanks. Watch your backs. You need to you, they're gonna try to contest it. They're gonna spawn back. They spawn back on here, it's gonna almost kill Dreamer. 
with a nade. Oh, the second nade's got Dreamer. She needs to go revive him. Oh no, she's stuck in a corner. She's stuck in a corner. She's like a shot from behind. Oh man. But at least they uh, decapped the flag and <laughs> removed their absolutely positive KD. So I guess we can give them credit for that. But oh man. At least they kept the flag, you know. There's some merit in capping the flag against the uh, enforced team. It's uh, not an easy feat to do. Jesus, I think they're gonna actually win this competition if they keep this up. The enforced, the enforced team. Wow. Trying to spot them. Unfortunately, does does nade swarmed by Liama are not gonna land very close. Liam almost getting flanked. Ah, oh, she was crouched and so she was unable to fire for a second and that's what got her killed. Now, they're gonna revive each other, unfortunately. He's gonna try to revive also, they're gonna run out of ammo, they're gonna run out of shotgun ammo. It's down to the pistols and it, they, they took both each other out, but unfortunately it wasn't enough because uh, Liam was already down for the count. But man, it went down to the pistol, so yeah, I think they're going to run out of ammo at some point, but they are stealing the Krylovs, so it's really not a problem. They can always just uh, retake the Krylovs as soon as they kill them. I think... I think the amount of tickets is irreversible now, folks. I think the loss is assured, but they're fighting until the end, they're not giving up, and we really got to give them uh, some credit for that, some merit. Because some people would have just abandoned a long time ago. But not these two, they keep they keep fighting even though they have no chance. Wow, that's simultaneously seamlessly getting taken down by both a nade and I believe a headshot from the Krylov by Mega. Wow. That is... <sighs> Jesus. Are they still gonna fight until the end? Because I believe, yeah, that is the match. Wow, three points to zero. I think, I think the win is pretty much assured for the Infos team. Jesus, that is terrible for them. I feel bad for them. Liam have performed uh, better in uh, Liam and Dreamer. They performed they performed better in anti Ewa. I think it's just the Enforce team that's throwing them off today. They just have better reflexes and accuracy, I think, overall. And that's really what's killing them. Though right now they have to defend. And maybe on defense they are actually better. After all, they don't have to move much. They just have to be in the right positions, spot, and hopefully land some good nades and some good accuracy. And hopefully that should do it. Now I'm probably gonna guess that Enforce that the Enforce team is gonna uh, split up, do the flanking tactic by keeping one guy busy uh, shooting at them to keep them busy, and one guy to actually flank around and actually do the job. As Dreamer's gonna stay there, Liamma's gonna take care of the flank. They're, they're trying to frantically spot and they're both in the same spot they're both together dreamer is gonna be alone against them for now i think dreamer has been alerted no she's not been alerted yet now she's been alerted she's gonna come to the aid of dreamer I'm gonna try to charge and contest the flag there's nades landing very close Dreamer getting himself killed by lack of reflexes. Liama had the wrong Liama had the wrong gun out. I think she had the map back out when she was uh, wanting to uh, kill Renata. Wow, I think uh, yeah, they do not have any way of contesting that, so they lost that flag completely. Now they're gonna have to uh, go down to defend the mill. And we'll see what they can do. They're, they're using a very bold strategy right now. They're gonna try to move up. Had to close the distance, trying to give them less of a breeding room. And they're still here, so maybe they can still kill them. So Mega is going from the back, and if he goes on the back and is on the flag... Yep. If he goes on the back and is on the flag, they cannot actually take this flag back, because the flag, the previous flag is actually being uh, 
decap as the other flank is taken, so they cannot take it back. So even if they both uh, kill Renata that was on the flank here, they could have not taken it. So they would have needed to go back if Mega was on the flank. So they suppressed their advantage. Now they really have to defend on the flag itself. Trying to hide behind boxes, but unfortunately getting flank, flanked. Dreamer, unfortunate. Renata, though, getting killed by Liama. Very good. Then she revives him. Very good, very good. Trying to spot them, trying to see where they are. We not to spawn back, that could be very dangerous. But if Dreamer's quick enough, he can actually get the flank. He needs to be quick, shoot them from the back quickly. Missing some of the shots, but eventually hitting him, I believe, in the arm. Finish him off, excellent. Renata is the only guy left. I don't think he's a squad leader either, so he has no support. He has to uh, fight alone. Liama spawned back, almost getting killed, she got killed. That gives him an opportunity to Dreamer to shoot back, but he's gonna hide behind the box. Mega moved back up. Those nades landing super close and killing Dreamer, wow. They lost the middle flag as well. Though they're doing a better performance that, than we saw earlier, that is for sure. They're doing a little bit better in defense, so kudos to them. Mega is gonna charge fourth right away, trying to close the distance. Oh, I think he heard that. He definitely heard that. Liam is gonna try to shoot Mega, but she's gonna miss some of her shots and not be able to finish him off. She's gonna try to go around and finish Mega off. Nice! He tried to go for a knife. I think he had pity with uh, Liama, to be honest. Because I don't believe he was all of Amber. But yeah, that was good for Liama. And the second guy goes down. Now they need to move back up and close the distance right away. They need to get a breeding room, a breeding room before the flag. Hey, what's up, man? Well, good to see you, dude. What's taking you so long, man? <laughs> I've been waiting on you, man. Mega... Getting shot down by Dreamer, very good usage of boxes, crouching and firing. Renata now, all alone. It's gonna go from behind them, I don't think they expect that. He gets shot from behind, Paul Dreamer. Liama is the only one left. And she got flanked, wow. Now they're gonna proceed to decap the flag. They need to contest this right away. With your kids? Oh, I did, yeah. It's understandable. Oh, cool, man. Well, actually, the nade by Dreamer actually stopping the capture of the flag. Very good nade. Mega is a little bit pinned, but keep in mind he's a squad leader, so if he just stays uh, down, he can actually get Renata to spawn back on him. Nades are landing in his previous spot. That could have been a very good nade if he was still there. Excellent accuracy by Dreamer. That nade does gonna kill Liana. Kinata alone against Dreamer. Dreamer actually uh, holding the ground. Excellent. Yeah, uh, Millwall. Um, yeah, they've they've lost uh, zero to three. So even if they win this one, they won't win it. They're kind of doing this for the honor right now. But uh, that being said, right now, uh, Liama and Dreamer are doing an excellent defense on Fall of Berlin. And as soon as I say that, of course, they get immediately both killed. Now they need to contest this flag right away. Oh, they're going to lose. And also, Millwall, I've just learned that after this, there's going to be an anti-evil match right away. So if you want to stick around, there's going to be an anti-evil match. Though I do not know uh, who's against who, because Nav has not responded to me yet. Mega Strange for Fauna seen is his tactics. He's a good squad leader. Yes, indeed. Today we've seen some good tactics. 
Mega are just being good with tactics. That's the strength. And uh, Liama and Dreamer, they kind of just lack uh, some reflexes. And also, they got both both taken out. So that's the fourth point for the Inforce team. Inforce winning 4-0. to zero. Wow. Inforce winning 4-0. to zero. These poor people. Wow, 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 wow. Your girlfriend cuts your hair? <laughs> your girlfriend cuts your hair, Milwa? That's interesting. Is she like a hairdresser or something? Because yeah, like, that's very cool if your girlfriend is a hairdresser. But yeah, poor Dreamer and, and Liama having lost uh, to the Enforce team, meaning uh, Renata and Mega, uh, four points to zero. <laughs> Jesus. Let's see if it actually gets updated in the score panel. Where are we? No, it's not yet updated, but there will be in a few seconds. I'm going to quickly uh, go back and talk a bit because I need to have a few things explained. So give me just a few seconds, folks, here. Just a little bit of last minute organization. Yeah, match completed. There you go. I just want to see that. Match completed here, folks. So that was it for the EVA match. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, for the for the sake of YouTube, I will uh, cut uh, the part here. And we'll, I will take the next part for the EVA tournament that's going to happen right after that. Okay. And I think it's going to be actually... Dun -dun -dun -dun. Um, still waiting on Daft to respond to me. But yeah, I'm gonna cut this here, and uh, I'm gonna if there is if I got some new info, I'm gonna be back right away in around like ten minutes. because I don't think Daf uh, are on the anti EU stuff. Well, if we actually load, that'd be great. There you go. Yeah, you and Jay should be in this mill war. You shouldn't be in this totally. It's it's a real shame. <sighs> yeah, she's good. <laughs> anyway, let me see. Uh, they're not. No, they're not in the anti evo tournament, so I do not know. Because right now I'm looking at the servers. If there will be an anti evo tournament, and it will be here, but. I'll be back if I got more info, folks. But for now, we're just going to cut it here. Just stay tuned. I'll be right back in around 20 minutes if there is something. Okay. All right, guys. So I'll cut it here for the uh, for YouTube and the VOD. So, yeah. Thanks, everyone, for watching. For those who watch via the YouTube and the VOD. And I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.